Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you a brand new series for our YouTube channel. We are going to be playing through a game called Oxenfree. Now, this game is a couple of years old, I believe, maybe even a few years, maybe four. I can't remember how when it came out. I'll have to look it up. Um, but I do remember when it came out, everyone was talking about how good it was. I never got a chance to play it, so we're going to be playing it here on the channel. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> That's my tattoo, by the way. <laughs> it's a picture. It's really small on the on the screen, probably, but it um, it's actually a Boondock Saints tattoo <laughs> on my back. Um, it's surprising that it's right there, so that's fun. Okay, we don't want to start over. We haven't even started yet. Uh, subtitles are on. There's no sound options. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, like like I was saying, I don't know what to expect from this game. I don't know what it's going to be really about. <clears throat> I kind of know what it's going to look like, but it's hard to explain. So we'll just jump right in. See what we're going to do. It used to be a military base. Well, it used Ooh. to be a ranching thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. What? <laughs> Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, Who's this Henry little breakfast Fonda? place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. What the? Uh... Alex? Hey, still with us? Yeah. You haven't um, said anything I mind for drifted. like 10 I'm minutes. listening. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, sorry. Uh, so you all PM. moved in? Um, not... Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom can I meet move? your dad exactly? I can move. <laughs> they met on vacation yeah. in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's Hello. really not worth it. No, what happened? <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. Cute. Aw, that's downright adorable. <laughs> I'm with you, Ren. And you guys just met tonight? Oh, where are we going? Yeah, I was, um... Back in here? I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Sit hey, down. Uh, second cousin? Uh, a stepbrother. He's my stepbrother. How do I sit oh, down? yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Can I go look at this? Well, one? at least you seem cool, right? Cool sit. guy, cool hat. Oh, you I get a cool new space. sibling, living right in your house. Stand Sharing up. your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Sure, yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. <laughs> Just happy to be on the team. Can we go look at these things up here? So, how do you two Water know each fountain. other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. Hey, uh, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like... Bridge. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. <laughs> You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. Yeah. How you doing up there, Karen? I uh, did I notice. Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> who's talking? Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. <laughs> um, polio. <laughs> Here's good. Oh, I missed a dialogue, I think. There we go. Now it gives me after I've already figured it out. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> Why? Hey, Alex. Why? You bought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? <laughs> Shift, okay. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 
point three. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh, oh, actually, it's a little after ten o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> Oh my jam! Oh, that's awesome! I shut it off I Christina, already. Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Christina, we must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. Ah. Ren's in the middle, Jonas is on the right, and we're the blue haired Alex. Okay, this is a cute little game so far. Am I supposed to click something here? I guess not. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. I don't I have no idea what to expect. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. <laughs> this ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full a pack. smoke? Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Uh, I forget if you're a fellow addict. No thanks. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Is uh, something wrong? Really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway, we're all gonna meet I'll up with them. I'll hear what Jonas has no, to it's, say. It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead, and we'll catch up with you. Um. Okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Sorry, Ren. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case. Whatever. <laughs> Ren what do you want? Seems nice. He's funny. You know. Reminds what did me of the guy to talk in the back about? home. Yeah. He's Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Aww. Not that it's been bad or anything. We'll make you the and best your mom of it. Have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> and proud of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Can we oh, walk up here? Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this that is Mike's an room. That was, um, that was Mike's room, actually. So there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. With Mike. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay. It's okay. Mike. You didn't know. Is that our brother or something? I heard your mom's dead. Oh my god. I heard you were in jail. Nice uh, it's view. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can <laughs> Awkward. catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to can take I so long. Can look at this? It's fine. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. <laughs> Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Can we, uh, look at this? Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Yeah. Alright, let's go get to Ren. Oh, what's this? This is cool. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. 
Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. 102.3, we press shift for I that. I think they said it's 102.3. Yeah, I heard you. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January Kanaloa. 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? War is hell. War is hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting Satan or dinosaurs or something. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Okay. Cool. What's this? Parks, Parks office. and facilities office. Friend's oh, sister Allison used to Parks work there. and Rec. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Antiques and gifts? Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if it's nobody's 8 here. Yeah, it's not that early. Hello, kids. True. That's Look, the true. other guys and gals must be further up, so hey, Ren. be quick now. Okay, speed I'm glad you're okay. of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. It's kind of so, cute. So, uh, summarize, where my... we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> and the, other, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, Sid, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Must be oh, something. Look. Said to hit control. Something. Oh, oh, okay, Main Street. Oh, and there's, hey, spoiler alert. <laughs> we're going to meet two more characters over here. So we're going to see these cliffs. Beacon Beach. Looks like it's going to go cliffs. Uh, Adler Estate, Epiphany Field, Towhee Woods, Campgrounds, Relay Point, Bridge Stand. Huh, okay. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town can is I do shut something down, with this? and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves. The whole I, I think the dumpster will get us over okay. if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, no, no. I um, I, I got it. Are more people uh, coming? Yeah. Isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex. It's just supposed to be like <laughs> a somewhat oversized thing. kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing. Is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll ah. hear voices or just sound. Creepy. I wanted to say creepy. Can I talk for once? <laughs> Come on now. So is it going to be like a ghost story or... 9 p.m. It's been an hour. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be Deal? cool. Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Rude. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was not leave the Just alone, leave Ren. it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. I'm telling me to be cool. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that oh, can wait. God. Hey, Jonas, hey. you coming down? We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play Beach Nanny, so... Uh, yeah. 
Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's <laughs> Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, he's cool. Yeah, yep. he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? Oh my that god. Is Awkward. Clarissa. How but is she's... her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... Guess. Uh, her mom <laughs> is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... Uh, I'm too slow <laughs> we to took the last fair. sometimes. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Who invited you? Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, <laughs> I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. I accept your apology. What did I? I'm too slow. <laughs> Can we? Do we have to hang out with these girls? I'm not a huge fan. Okay. Well, we're gonna walk this way. Apparently, I hope this is the right way. Can I talk to Ren and Jonas or no? No. Man, I don't like Clarissa. Nona, Nona's all right. Don't be mean to my new stepbrother, Clarissa. Whoops. All right, let's see where this goes down here. What here? What does that say? Butts here? <laughs> <clears throat> What's this say? Beacon Beach. Uh, yeah, let's go to the beach. Huh. I don't know what to make of the game. I'm waiting for something to happen. Like, I think it's going to turn spooky or something. Kind of like a, I'm getting a real Night in the Woods vibe from it, which is cool. I, and this game came out before Night in the Woods. Because I actually really enjoyed Night in the Woods, so... Oh. Fire! Man's great equalizer. <laughs> so, what's the, Can I pick um, up the stick? What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. <laughs> we should explore the island. Jason I mean, if Kruger. this is pretty much a one time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Pick oh, up the rock. You mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days Throw ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, hey, see her we house. could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich. No, a... we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. Stoke the fire. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. Truth we can or inaugurate slap. Jonas. Isn't He's it truth the or dare? Festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You Ew. get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. How can you uh, prove unless that? Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first we're I'll gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wow! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Uh, Give him a Clarissa, break. come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's 
Pretty harsh, Clarissa. Just ease off the throttle for I have one. no chill okay, with Clarissa. Clarissa. Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Lay it on about me. Which nerve I want to so delicately pinch? Oh please, shoot! I can take it. Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny. Um, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. I'd marry so Nona. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'd screw okay, Ren. You're going down the line. I do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah. I knew those bass lessons would come <laughs> in handy. Which, of course, means <laughs> that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep yep. if you ever got the chance. What uh, a definitely. <laughs> she got what was coming. Eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Nona. Um, Nona. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's uh, make it something. Uh, uh, ever pee in a pool? Ever uh, pee in a swimming pool? Uh, no. <laughs> Super question. You're like an investigative journalist or something. Clarissa. Um, I was Nona, serious about that you're strangle. Up. Thing. Oh. Uh, I'm going to get Clarissa, a drink. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A black spot, like a something a evil. A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get like a little ampersand on my <laughs> ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, What's fine point? with it, really. Is there a question Is there, here? like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation. That doesn't matter. Marissa. Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that My Alex's brother died. mom is happy. You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. <laughs> be okay, Clarissa. You <laughs> what? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. You are so oh annoying. Oh, my God, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Why did you even come, then? Cheese! If you guys near <laughs> scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie... Happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish? You be sure to just let me know. Super. We won't. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's just fine by me. All right. Uh. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch <laughs> by checking out the caves. <laughs> no, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Where are you from again? We're gonna pause there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, when we come back, we will go to this cave that Ren wants to go to. I'm liking the game so far. I'm digging it. Um, I'm curious to see where it's gonna go and... I hope something bad happens to Clarissa. <laughs> That's all I have to say about her. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and end here. When we come back, we'll continue right where we left off. Um, 
and go explore this cave. So guys, thank you so much for all the support um, on the channel and on this series. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye everyone. Thank you.